Are you confused about pacifiers? Well, you're not alone. Pacifiers are a hot topic and there's a lot of controversy about them. But what I need you to do is decide if you wanna use a pacifier or not. And I have other videos that talk about the risks and the benefits of using a pacifier. If you choose, let's say you chose to do a pacifier, what is the very best pacifier you can use? It's this one. This is a Soothe pacifier. Um, what I like about it is it has a nice shape and if you use it incorrectly, it falls out. So I'll tell you which one dad likes. Dad likes this one. It says, I love daddy. But the problem with this pacifier is that babies can bite right here, which is why they tend to like this, especially if they have some sensory issues. And if you're trying to breastfeed, it's really important. Well, it's important for everybody, even bottle feeders. But in the moment, it's really important for breastfeeders to have the right pacifier. So this one, babies can bite. This orthodontic pacifier, that's code for tongue retraction. See how that pushes the tongue back and lifts it up in the middle? that's code for tongue retraction. You don't wanna use that type. This one would be okay if it's actually used correctly. If the baby actually sucks and pulls this pacifier out, that may be appropriate, but what I find is they just end up biting here. So, best pacifier, hands down, soothe pacifier. I don't get any money for saying their name. I just think it's a really good pacifier to help facilitate optimal oral function. That's whether you're breastfeeding or bottle feeding, we need oral function for everything, for eating, for speech, for breathing, for how your face looks, for potential orthodontic um, placement at some point, or hopefully not placement at some point. So pick your pacifier wisely, pick a soothie, and we'll talk about in the next one if your baby won't take a pacifier or take this one. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for your time.